for group seven and for our senior design project, we did the smart crib, and we wanted to go ahead and do a demonstration of the smart crib. So first, one of the first things we're going to test is our mobile, our wearable PCB, and we're going to check the pulse sensor. Right now, we're measuring Ben's pulse. So we're going to come here. We're going to mobile application. What you'll note is we, are, we have a live camera feed up top. We have a button to to monitor weight, heart rate, and temperature. So we're going to go ahead and check check his heart rate. He's at 107 beats per minute right now. A little high. We're going to come back and check that in a little bit later. So let's take a look at temperature. What is the temperature of the room? We're at 23.28 degrees Celsius. Okay, for our next thing, we're going to go ahead and do a weight demonstration. First, we're going to check the zero weight. We're at 0 0.06 pounds. So now I'm going to go ahead and place five pounds right into the dead center of the crib. And we're going to see what the change in weight is. So now we do have to wait 10 seconds for our database to update. So in order to reset this button, we're going to go ahead and touch on it and go back. And we'll just wait a couple more seconds for a 10 second mark. Go ahead and check the weight. We're at 4.68 pounds. Now I'm going to go ahead and move the five pounds to the front of the crib. You should see it in the live camera feed moving towards it. So now we've got to wait 10 seconds, and as we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and check the heart rate again, see if it's gone down. This should be data from the last check. Give it a second, sometimes it starts to lag. Go ahead and try to reset the weight as well. What I think is going to happen is we're going to end up getting these two values in at the same time. Go ahead and see it. There's our heart rate coming in at 74 beats per minute. Let's go ahead and check our weight. 4.53 pounds. Now I'm going to go ahead and move the 5 pounds to the back of the crib now. We're going to measure the weight one more time. As we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and check the temperature in the room again. So we're going to go back. This should be our old data that's already sitting in there. Still holding at 23.26 degrees Celsius. So let's see if our weight has had enough time to reset from our 10 second delay. We're 4.44 pounds measuring at the back of the crib. Now we're going to come over here to a little bit of awkward to the side here of the crib and we're going to calculate and see what the weight is. So let's go ahead and zero our weight back out. See if we've updated 4.41 pounds. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to demonstrate is a change in temperature. So in order to do that, we're going to actually use a blow dryer. Brian is going to use a blow dryer and heat up the area our temperature sensor is at. That's enough, Brian. All right, so with the blow dryer, we should expect a pretty big increase here. Let's go ahead and zero it out. Let's wait a couple seconds in order for our thing to update, our 10 second loop. And let's go ahead and check the temperature. We have gone up to 33.74 degrees Celsius, showing the temperature has now measured the extra temperature that was created by the blow dryer. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to our notification demos. So for our notifications, we wanted these to be able to work when the user is not looking at the application. So let's go ahead and shut that off and go to the home screen. And then we're going to go ahead and play the baby crying. See if our cry notification works. That noise was the phone receiving an update. And we did get a baby is crying update. The next notification we want to see is if we can notify when the child is moving. So there's a motion sensor on our wearable PCB. We're using an accelerometer, and we're going to see if this will send the motion notification we are expecting. <laughs> Currently, we're waiting on the update. We got a notification on the phone. So check it. We have a motion sensor. The baby is moving notification. The last notification we wanted to check was the pulse sensor. When the pulse sensor no longer reads anything, we should get a warning notification that says the pulse sensor is no longer connected. So now he's removed the pulse sensor and we are waiting for our phone to update.
there's a little bit of delay on that one. And we have the baby heart rate is not detected. As you can see, what I think is going on in the database is we've actually backed up several detections because they should have been coming in every 10 seconds. So now as you can see, we just got hit with one, two, and I think we got hit with three of them. So now let's go ahead and look at some of our different hardware that we have done. First, we're gonna take a look in here inside. First thing I do want to note that is we did have to use a different sound sensor than shown in the presentation. Using a smaller sound sensor than before. This one runs off of five volts. And let's go ahead and remove this. That's the base that we've created for the way sensors. And at the very corners underneath are our four way sensors. Here's a look at all four of them. And now here's a look at the main PCB board. Explain. So this is the main PCB where we have the Wi-Fi module here with the main MCU. And then over here you will have the INA amplifier for the weight sensors. And this is the sound sensor uh, system with the 555 timer and trigger. And over here is the uh, temperature sensor with the I I2C lines. And over here is the power board in which you have uh, the four voltage output for the 12, 5, 3.3, and negative 12. What you also see over here is our Raspberry Pi, which is also helping to run our camera that is mounted down here at an angle to be able to see the baby. And the last piece we have is our wearable PCB piece. Here you can see in its packaging. We're going to go ahead and take that off. We're going to open it up. Now this is our four layer board design. In the middle we have the MCU right there. And then we have the Wi-Fi over on the right hand side. Over here where my thumb is, that is the accelerometer. Here was the connector for the pulse sensor. On the bottom side we have our micro USB header. That's used to power the battery charging circuit here. There's, here's where our battery connects. This is our fuse. Here is our power management IC. And here is our voltage regulator that is running the system.